Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Zosha Kelby. I put a poll on my Instagram and I was like, ask me anything. Literally, that's what I said. And you guys sent in some few questions, you know, here and there. And I'm gonna be answering them for the world. <laughs> for anybody who cares, you know. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Why am I suddenly so energetic? Let me get water because it's hot. How's fashion school? And I noticed that actually many questions about fashion school that I didn't expect because no, I didn't know that people are interested to know um, about my experience in fashion school. Right? I'm going to fashion school here in Dubai. I am in a school called FAD. When I came here, it's something that I wanted to pursue. You know, I was trying to figure things out and it's what definitely something that I wanted to do. So I started researching on the schools that are here in Dubai and the ones that I can do fashion in. And the main ones I found was FAD and this other one called Esmond. But I decided to go with FAD because, you know, there are very many things that I felt like I preferred about it. And so far, so far my experience has been good. What I'm doing at the moment is more of a show course but with time by the end of this first three months of the course I will know whether I will be doing the rest of the course the total time for the course is one year but it's broken down into three three different sections so I'm in the first level and then after that I will decide if I'll go to level two and level three or not the first thing we're doing like the first few weeks we were learning sketching we're learning about the history of fashion now we've started um drafting patterns and we're making we're making clothes now i have an assignment to make a skirt this weekend so that's the vibe we got an opportunity to intern at fashion week which for me was so interesting like it was so crazy i was like ah fashion week is really like one of those dreams that you dream about so it was middle east fashion week but for me i think it was still amazing and i hope you get opportunities to do other you know other internships and other fashion weeks and things like that but that's usually like part of the school like the school is very active and that's one of the reasons i chose it but fashion school so far so far it's been a good experience and i'm meeting so many people like the people who are doing photography the people who are doing styling the people who are doing business in the same school so we all get to interact with each other and then even the people who come to lecture are so friendly that it's hard for yeah it's been an easier an easy way for me to socialize and even know more people here in dubai so yeah fashion school is dope <laughs> where did you shop your clothes while in kenya also I love everything about you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That, that, now I feel like I'm praising myself, but that's so sweet. Like, I really appreciate that. And one thing about the internet is sometimes it's really nice just when you put out something to the world. Or like, it's like when, when you're a kid and then you show some someone something that you've drawn and then they're like, oh, that's really nice. You feel nice. So, compliments are always something good. Go compliment someone today. The question was, where did you shop your clothes while in Kenya? The first place um, I used to shop was Toy Market because I used to live near Toy Market, so I used to go to Toy Market. Also, I used to shop in, should I call it for example, Makasarani? There's like, I don't know if it's still there, but there was a Soko, a second-hand clothes place there, and it was near my school, so when I'd pass there, I'd shop there, or if, um, you know, going to see someone, I'd end up just shopping there. Also, when you're on the road, Kuna Tuna, like, so many places we just sell clothes. I believe in buying something when you see it like obviously you have to think about how much money you have but mostly i used to buy things when i see them like let's say i'm walking somewhere and there's like a touche place on the side and i see something and i really like i would pick it then if i have like the money to do it other than deciding i'm gonna go shop on this particular day and then town but not that much not that much oh um online but then you know this thing for going to mtush i'm going to like toy market mtush this thing for shopping in town but then i'm just thinking about it and i'm like the last the past few times i was shopping in nai for clothes i was actually doing it online you know the way there's so many thrift stores online i still used to go to like toy market and things like that but it got to a point where i mostly used to shop online you know thrift stores online in nairobi is where it's at because they're saving you the hassle of going to kuchama and all that they're saving you all that hassle 
so i used to shop online a lot um mtush and then i also used to shop like mr price uh lc waikiki let's just stay in the mall especially when i need something dressy like let's say i'm going for a party or i'm going for something like an event something like that and you need something like Something crisp online guys online shopping is where it's at honestly it saves you the hassle you just have to let's say you shop from different stores and they all deliver in town so you just pick a day and then you go pick all your clothes in town and you've done shopping the first person that came to mind when i saw this question was milhali 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 this is in terms of influencing like obviously people do very many things on ig but i'm talking about influencing there are many people but she's among the people that i've seen grow from you know like she started from way back when and she's been consistent and i know you can see how much she's grown and it's just always so inspiring and her content is so good like she 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 doesn't miss like how are you constantly just putting out good content and that's what i love about her and like if you can get to that level where you're constantly good at your craft like she's someone if i had a brand i would definitely want to approach because she's gotten to that point where like she's delivering every single time and me as a consumer because i'm just, all everyone is a consumer um i'm just you know impressed and that's why she's one definitely one of my favorite influencers she just does really good work and honestly she's one of those people i'd like to meet like i've always wanted to go to south africa but this is just me manifesting south africa because i know i'm gonna go but i don't know when how but i am she's definitely one of those people that i'd love to meet and speaking of south africa can we just talk about how south african influencers are just i feel like the influencer world in south africa is really like the, you know like the way we can say the music industry in nigeria is really popping right now like it's really doing good like it's the same thing with the influencer industry in south africa like it's it's like from my perspective it seems like something that is being taken seriously and people are really about it and even from like the content i see from south african content create content creators and influencers i'm just like damn you know yeah but i would say milhani but there are definitely other people that i love but just to mention i read somewhere that 23 is supposed to be the hardest age of your life like i don't know in terms of challenges but it's a tough age and once you get past or through that age things just get easier people who are older is that true does it get easier someone asked me kindly what's your iphone model dates had this baby for a while now it's an iphone 11 and i probably think the person was asking was asking me this was asking me because of my photos on ig I use it a lot to take photos but guys let me be honest i've been noticing like is it me or is the quality of my camera going down and i've seen this where iphone things start going down after newer iphones are released does that also affect the camera because of late i've noticed it's not as uh, as it used to be or is it the way i'm keeping it? i don't know could it be me am i the drama i remember i saw this question and i was so curious so i checked out both of them santorini is dope and and really nice and beautiful and i feel like everyone goes there but paros is that how you pronounce it let's google this together let's learn let's educate each other paros paros like paris paros paros if i was to pick between santorini and paros paras para paro you know i'm just gonna be fancy and call it paro Peru. Peru. It's such a beautiful place. Peru, Peru, Paros, Para. Is it looked flat and a home. It looked homely. It looked lovely. It looked like hugs and like if you can walk in the streets of Peru, you're gonna be holding hands. Like why would you be walking on the streets of Peru with someone and you're not holding hands? For what reason they have this really pretty tiles and everything is white it's kind of like santorini but i feel like a private version of santorini you know santorini is really dope but peru paras peru is peru <laughs> cut the cameras dead ass <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video please do make sure you subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next video